For this demonstration, we use the styrofoam board that we assembled. As we mentioned before, powerful objects in the universe, like black holes, neutron stars, and supernovae, emit high-energy radiation, which can be dangerous to life. So, how are we protected here on Earth from this high-energy radiation coming from the universe? It might seem weird, but our atmosphere and the magnetic field around Earth help protect us. Let's see how. This board represents our atmosphere. Here's Earth's surface at the bottom. These holes represent the atoms in our atmosphere, magnified about a trillion times. The atoms are more widely spaced at the top to represent that the atmosphere gets thinner the higher you go up. Earth has a magnetic field around it. We'll use the models for cosmic radiation that we passed out to our visitors. Let's see if we can make it reach Earth's surface. Here's visible light. Let's see what happens. There you go, it reaches Earth's surface. This represents a gamma ray. Let's see what happens with that. Up, oh, absorbed. And an X-ray. Up, oh, absorbed again. And an atomic particle. Whoa, what happened there? Deflected in Earth's magnetic field. The atoms in our atmosphere absorb gamma ray and X-ray radiation. Earth's magnetic field deflects or captures a lot of the fast-moving atomic particles. Even though the atoms in the atmosphere are widely spaced, the total thickness of the atmosphere is large, and the total number of atoms is enormous. An X-ray photon passing through the atmosphere will encounter as many atoms as it would passing through a 5-meter or 16-foot thick wall of concrete. If most of the radiation can't get through our atmosphere, we can't detect it here on Earth's surface. So how do we know this radiation exists? Where does NASA have to put telescopes to detect it? Sure, out in space. Now, we'll fix this up with telescopes. One in space, and one on the Earth. Let's attack Earth with radiation again. What can the detectors out in space collect? Let's see. Yeah, all the radiation. We've got swift and glassed, detecting gamma ray radiation, and spacecraft like Suzaku and XMM Newton detecting X-rays studying the high-energy radiation coming at us from space. But how about telescopes on Earth? What can they collect? Let's see. Go ahead. Ah, yeah! <laughs> Mostly just the longer wavelengths of light. So you can see why we need telescopes in space to study high-energy radiation. That kind of radiation rarely reaches Earth's surface. <laughs>